Hey everyone, Micah here with ebikeschool.com. And today we're gonna to talk about the difference between lithium iron phosphate cells and lithium ion cells when it comes to batteries. Now I just got in a bunch of new lithium iron phosphate battery cells here for a battery I'm gonna be building soon. So why don't we open these up, check them out, and then we're gonna talk about why you might go with lithium iron phosphate or why lithium ion might be better for your needs. Now I got these cells from Battery Hookup. Uh, it's a website that has all sorts of battery cells. They have lithium iron phosphate and lithium ion, so you can get all sorts of interesting cells there, plus a bunch of uh, salvage cells, modem batteries, all sorts of things. It's great for DIY battery builders. These are their in-house battery cells. These are their uh, 32650s, and I've never used these cells before, but I'm pretty excited about them. Basically, each one of these is about uh, 17 watt hours or so, so there's a lot of capacity in each cell and I'm gonna be able to build a, a pretty good sized battery. I think I'm gonna go with a 48 volt, 20 amp hour battery. So because these are five amp hours each, it's going to uh, only need four cells in parallel. I was talking to Tom when I got these batteries and uh, he generously offered all of my viewers here on YouTube a discount of 5% if you use the code eBike when you buy battery cells or any of the batteries that they offer. So uh, thanks a lot to Tom for doing that, and um, also that helps support my channel, so they know that you guys found Battery Hookup through me, and it helps me continue to make free videos like this. All right, so why am I going with lithium iron phosphate cells for my next battery? Now you've probably seen that I've done a lot of lithium ion battery building using uh, 18650 cells, and while there are lithium iron phosphate uh, 18650s available, they're a lot more rare. So to do a lithium iron phosphate battery for my next battery, I'm going with these larger cells. And lithium iron phosphate does have a number of advantages over lithium ion. The first one that a lot of people think about is that the batteries just last longer. These cells are probably gonna last well over a thousand cycles. Many lithium iron phosphate last up to 2000 cycles. Compare that to lithium ion, you're talking about somewhere between 350 to 800 cycles, depending on the chemistry. So you get a lot longer lifespan here. Another advantage to lithium iron phosphate is that you can often get higher discharge. These cells are rated for 3C, so at a five amp hour cell, you can get 15 amps out of each cell. It varies depending on the type of lithium iron phosphate. There are some cells that can go up higher, you know, like 20, 25C. If you're familiar with A123 cells, those were very popular a few years ago when it was harder to get a lot of uh, different lithium iron phosphate cells. Those are really high power cells, so the chemistry does allow higher power. And if you really need high power, then lithium iron phosphate might be a good way to go. It also doesn't heat up as much when you do high power batteries. So if you're gonna pull a lot of current from batteries, lithium iron phosphate might be another good option to cut down on that uh, heat buildup. That also leads us into one of the downsides of lithium iron phosphate though, is that it's not as energy dense. So while you can get more power out of it, you need a physically larger battery because you just can't stuff as much capacity into as small a volume like you can with lithium ion. So you can see that these are pretty large cells, right, compared to 18650s. Now, there is more capacity here, but if you were to scale up an 18650 with lithium ion and it was the same size, you'd actually get more capacity, more watt hours. So what that means is that in the end, if you have a, let's say a typical e-bike battery that's 48 volts and 15 amp hours, it's just gonna be a bigger battery if you use lithium iron phosphate. It's gonna be larger in volume, it's gonna be a bit heavier. You're just talking about less energy density. So that's why you usually see uh, e-bike batteries built with lithium ion because manufacturers want to have a smaller format battery. Another advantage of lithium ion over lithium iron phosphate is that it's cheaper up front. So again, that's why you often see it in e-bikes because the same battery with the same specs in terms of capacity, voltage, etc., the same battery is going to be cheaper if you use lithium ion. So we're often talking something like 20, 25%, not a huge difference, you know, it's not double the price, but you do get a cheaper upfront cost with lithium ion. The downside is that because lithium ion doesn't last as long, the overall cost for the lifetime of the battery is still gonna be better with lithium iron phosphate because while it might cost, I don't know, 25% premium up front, it could last two to three times as long, so you're really getting more bang for your buck if you're gonna use the battery for its full lifetime, if you go with the lithium iron phosphate. Next, let's talk about voltage. The nominal voltage of lithium iron phosphate is actually lower than lithium ion. With lithium iron phosphate, you're talking about a nominal voltage of about 3.2 or 3.3 volts, Compared to lithium ion, you've got a nominal voltage of 3.6 to 3.7 volts. So with a lower voltage, it actually plays nicer with 12 volt increments. So for example, if you're trying to build a 12 volt lithium ion battery, 
you're going to be falling somewhere between 3S and 4S because lithium ion at 3.6 volts per cell just doesn't play as nicely with 12 volt increments. But lithium iron phosphate falls much closer to the sort of 12 volt, 24 volt, 36 volt increments. So uh, if you're doing a 12 volt application and you need to run something like a 12 volt inverter, you're going to get much closer alignment to the typical lead acid 12 volt uh, battery range going with lithium iron phosphate. And lastly, but definitely not the least most important, is safety. Lithium iron phosphate cells are certainly safer than lithium ion because they just don't have the same combustion level. It's really hard to make a lithium iron phosphate battery cell explode, and it's actually pretty easy to make a lithium ion cell explode. I mean, you have to abuse it, but I mean, if you just short circuit one of those cells, you can make it pop pretty easily, as opposed to lithium iron phosphate, because they just don't heat up so much when you abuse them, it's really hard to make them combust. They will heat up some, uh, they might vent a bit, but it, they just don't have the same combustion level that a lithium ion cell has. They aren't, just aren't that reactive, either in terms of heat or chemically. So they're a lot safer alternative to lithium ion if you're worried about fire safety. All right, so those are the main differences between lithium ion and lithium iron phosphate. Obviously both work really well and it really just depends on your application. Generally I've gone with lithium ion because they're cheaper up front, they're more plentiful in terms of the different types of uh, cells you can get, there's just more manufacturers, but they do have some downsides like the safety, like the lower cycle life. So that's why for my next battery, I wanna try doing this with these larger format lithium iron phosphate cells. If you wanna check these out, I will put a link in the description below so you can see these. They're uh, $2.99 per cell, I think, which is actually a pretty crazy deal if you do the math. Uh, I've got 64 cells here, so what I'm planning is a uh, 4P16S pack. That's four cells in parallel, and then 16 of those parallel sets in series. And that's gonna give me a 48 volt and 20 amp hour battery, or probably closer to like 21 and a half because these are actually over capacity. So uh, that video is gonna be coming up soon. But uh, in the meantime, it is time to announce the winner of the giveaway for my last video. And the randomly selected commenter is... Art. So congratulations, just let me know which one of my books you'd like. You can choose from DIY Lithium Batteries if you wanna build a battery like what I'm gonna be doing. I also have DIY Solar Power, the ultimate do-it-yourself e-bike guide, and electric motorcycles. Just let me know which one of my books you'd like and where to send it. And anybody else who wants a chance to be the randomly selected commenter at the end of my next video, just try putting a comment down below, tell me anything you want, and hopefully you'll be chosen next time. And if you don't wanna wait that long to hopefully win one of my books, you can always find them on Amazon. All right, thanks for watching everybody. I'll be back soon with a video where I turn these into an e-bike battery. See you next time, everyone. Mm -hmm.